Flying Shark was published by Firebird in, uh, well, once more, 1987. Honestly, I don't choose them, it looks like most of the games I know were made in 1987, it's weird. Anyway, Flying Shark is a vertically scrolling shooter where you have a biplane and you shoot down enemy spaceships. Or is it biplanes? You also get to shoot down tanks and cannons and in later stages boats, but since they are already down you just shoot them. Of course everyone shoots back so they need to be shot at first and also you need to be careful not to receive a bullet or to touch any other plane. The tanks are safe, you can fly over them. I wasn't able to find any scenario concerning the game like who we are and against whom we are fighting, so I can only guess and since I know about warplanes less than I know about waterproof mascara, I will avoid making any guesses. All you need to know is that everything is out there to kill you except for the power-ups maybe. The power-ups consist of bombs that kill everything on screen, except for your own plane, although I don't know why I felt like clarifying this, and little pills that double and triple your firepower. In general, the game is interesting and quite challenging, especially when you have to avoid a number of bullets while at the same time trying to prevent the source from shooting more of them, and in many cases the sources are numerous and they don't wait for their turn. The problem is that they begin from the exact same position every time. After playing a few times, you just learn everyone's position and you anticipate what will appear and when. And this is a serious problem. There is also a two-player mode where each player plays when the other one loses a life. I think that it would be better for games to just avoid this kind of two-player mode. If you cannot play at the same time, what's the point? Let's play so that we can count the scores afterwards, Steve. I'm sure that I will beat you dearly. Oh no, you won't. I'm sure that my score will be much higher than yours. <laughs> that's sadness, that's not a two-player mode. Let's see what the ratings have to say about all that. Graphics, 3. Even if the first level is a pain in the eyes, with your plane, the enemy planes and the vegetation having the same color, eventually you get used to it and in the next stages you can see better. Few colors, but a nice level of detail. Sound, too. Very basic sound effects with some nice music. Not as cool as Ikari Warriors, though. Gameplay, too. I would gladly give it a 3 if there was some element of surprise, but there isn't. Play it for some time and you learn it and this always kind of ruins the excitement. On the other hand, maybe I'm asking too much of such an old game. General experience, 3. Even if it doesn't keep you playing for very long, it's still a pretty cool shoot em up game and especially if you like this specific subcategory of shooters, you'll have some fun. Overall, it's a 2.5 for Flying Shark and just before moving on to the next review, let's like this one, let's share it and let's subscribe to the channel. I have already, now it's your turn!